Good morning everyone. My name is Kelsey. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to do a what I eat in a day. It's a special edition though. Um, my fiance wanted to do the carnivore diet to try it to see what the hype is all about. So that's what we're doing. Um, what I eat in a day on the carnivore diet. I am adjusting it just a little bit. I'm adding fruit um, because I would like to still incorporate some fruit. So that's what I'm doing. But if you are new here, I'm trying to lose 100 pounds. I have not been successful, literally at all. <laughs> um, so this is just a fun challenge for me. Um, it's something that I'm doing that's, you know, why not? I'm supporting my fiance. He wants to try it. I said I would try it with him. So that's what we're doing. And the first thing that I'm having is coffee because that's a necessity. I just brewed two shots of espresso from my Nespresso. Um, I normally do brown sugar in it, but I am not doing that today. I will just have espresso and milk. Um, depending on the type of carnivore diet you do, which uh, let me let me back the train up for a second. Um, if you don't know what carnivore is, it's basically just an animal-based diet. So really, if you're doing strict carnivore, it's only animal products. So like meat, some dairy sometimes, depending on who you ask and which one you do. Um, so yeah, but we are incorporating some dairy. So I am doing milk. So let me get the milk and let me put it in my coffee really quick. I am using what's left of my fair life, 2% milk, probably around four ounces of this, if I had to guess, but I am putting it in a mason jar, so I guess I can, we're at like three ounces it looks like. I feel like this should be two. Um, I don't know. That looks about good. It's about like four or five ounces of milk, I feel like. So this is what I'm having. I'm gonna have an iced latte. What I was saying, I normally put brown sugar in it, but you're not supposed to do any sugar other than what comes out of the fruit, I suppose. Um, so I took that away. And my dog is chewing on the rug. Hold, please. I'm having fruit, so I will have a little bit of sugar and a little bit of carbs. Um, instead of just like meat products. But I am like cutting out like extra sugar, like brown sugar or stuff like that. So, and also I'm not sure how long I'm gonna be doing this for because it's just an experiment. Um, I said I would do it for a month. So we'll see what happens after that. But I am starting my day with this ice latte and that's what we're having. I It's like 10 o'clock now. Um, I've just been working. I'm a hybrid employee, if you don't know. Um, so I got up, I did stuff. I've had like one sip of water and now I'm having coffee. I'll probably have breakfast around 11 because that's normally when I get really hungry. My plan is to have three eggs and some sausage, but we'll see, we'll see where my stomach takes me. Um, so yeah. Happy Monday, everybody. Go get your caffeine, go get your protein, and let's have a great week. All right, it is breakfast time, and this is what we have cooking. I put one tablespoon of this pure Irish butter. It's grass-fed from Aldi. One tablespoon of that in here, and then this is three eggs. And some people on carnivore say that you can't use seasoning, but that's not happening in this household. So I did garlic powder, salt, pepper, chili flake. Um, three eggs in there. And then I also got this chicken sausage, chicken breakfast sausage from Aldi, country style chicken breakfast sausage. And I'm gonna do two of those. I'm gonna cut those up and then mix it with my eggs. And then I'm gonna do 50, this is 50 grams of raspberries. But that's what I'm having for breakfast and I'm hungry. It is exactly 11 o'clock, and that's what we're having. I'll show you when it's all done. Here we go, all plated, and then I put some Lola's hot sauce. Um, this is so good, <laughs> and I would die without hot sauce, so that's what I'm having for breakfast, and I am really hungry and excited to eat this, and um, if you like hot sauce, give this one a try. I just opened this one, actually, because I ran out of 
My other one that I like is Melinda's hot sauce, but I just opened this and it's just as good or better. So breakfast, everybody. All right, this is what we've got going for lunch today. We have four ounces of 80-20 ground beef and then two eggs. I'm gonna do over medium. This is my little puppy who wants to chew on the mat. Hey, it's okay. Um, yeah, but that is what is for lunch and I'll probably do a little hot sauce on my eggs or maybe some hot honey because honey is allowed because it comes from bees. So that's what I'm eating for lunch. Such a weird meal to me, but this is like a staple on this diet. So um, that's what I'm having for lunch. And I already finished one of these and I did work out on my lunch break. I'm taking like a little fake lunch to eat this, but I went to Hot Works on my lunch break. So I need at least two more of these realistically um, because Hot Works, you work out in a sauna. And I've only had one, so I need to up my water for the day. And I'm gonna eat this and get back to work, I guess. It is now 4 p.m. and I am participating in a ritual that the carnivore diet will simply not take from me. And it's a daily DC. Don't care if I'm not supposed to have it. Don't care if it's not on the plan. I'm having it, okay? So that's what I'm having, but I just did something so exciting. Well, it's exciting to me. I don't know if y'all care, but I'll show you anyway. Look what I just did. Aha! Look how cute that is! I got these on the Amazon. Look how sweet. All right, I forgot to show you this earlier, but I did have some hot and spicy pork rinds as a snack. I had whatever the serving is. It's like 14 grams, I think. Yeah, and they're 80 calories. We got these at Aldi and they're not my favorite that I've ever had, um, but these were my snack. But now it's 8.30 and we're having dinner. We're having petite sirloin steak and Zach is having two eggs. But if I eat this, I will be at my calorie limit for the day, which is 1500. I did two tablespoons of the grass fed butter and then these two steaks and I'm gonna cook him two eggs over medium. And that's what we're having for dinner. Yum, I'm actually incredibly hungry. We'll see how I feel tomorrow, but um, yeah, I'm very hungry and very excited for this. All right, I actually decided to make one egg and go a little over on my calories because I want to dip the steak in the little egg. We topped the steak with a little Maldon salt. And this is what is for dinner. This is the last thing um, <laughs> that we're eating um, because like dessert is not really a thing. However, I did watch a TikTok today about, it's like carnivore dates or carnivore dessert. It's like carnivore cookie dough, I think is what they call it, but it's like dates and butter and sea salt and it tastes like cookie dough. So maybe I'll try that. Um, next Monday or whenever I film another what I eat today. I don't know, but this is the end of the video. Thank you for following me along. I will update you guys on how we feel, how we're doing, what's going on with us after carnivore. Um, but yeah, we're gonna go eat and I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Thank you for subscribing if you have already um, and please do if you haven't. And um, leave a comment if you've ever tried this diet style before, if you have any recommendations or if you have any comments, let me know down below. All right, talk to you guys in my next one. Bye.